Gloria, that went well. I particularly liked your interview with Tony Abbott. Very insightful. Sorry, boss, that was a bullshit interview with no hard questions. I feel dirty. I agree, boss. A bullshit interview. All that swaggering, prick, Abbott, did was bag the PM and the government and not talk about his own policies. I was not even allowed to ask him any policy or budget to read questions. Listen, it is all about the news cycle. Our audience don't care about policies. In fact, the opposition will roll them out in the last days of the election campaign. That sort of bullshit deserves a good hit of methane. Now, look here, all Abbott is trying to do is prove he is not a political opportunist for being negative. He needs to show everyone his positive side. As you can see, my co-anchor has got the shits. You and the rest of management never allow me to ask Abbott, Morrison, Pine, Hockey, Bishop, and that Cree, Abetz, any of the hard questions I am required to ask of the government. Gloria, let's get out of here. I need air. This place stinks to high heaven of hypocrisy and political bias. You know I was dying to ask Abbott some questions about the Ashby matter. Ever since the court ruling condemning the opposition's Malbruff, and finding that Peter Slipper had no case to answer the orders have been to bury the story, as you well know. I know. This is mainstream media self-censorship about a conspiracy story which is akin to Watergate. It would help with the 24-hour news cycle. Why bury the story? Amazing isn't it? The media were all over it when Ashby made his sexual harassment allegations against Slipper. Now we have mainstream media silence after the court ruling. Let's find a quiet spot and develop questions we should be asking of Bruff, Abbott, Pine, Hockey and all of the rest of these despicable members of the opposition. Looks our aggressive conservative colleagues did not clean up after leaving a mess. Okay, let's start with Bruff. He received Slipper's diaries from Ashby when he worked with Slipper. I would ask what action he would take as a member of parliament if his diaries were stolen and handed over to a political rival as was the case with Slipper. Yes, and also ask him what he wanted this information for. More importantly, I would ask him what did he actually did with this information. It is bloody unethical if you ask me. Bruff is completely immoral. A disgusting human being. We should also ask him whether he discussed employment opportunities for both Ashby and his fellow accomplice Doan before they commenced working for Slipper. And more importantly, he or Julie Bishop, or Pine or Joe Hockey should be asked why did they not advise Ashby to use the internal HR procedure if he felt he was being harassed. Instead he went straight to political journalist Peter Lewis and then lodged a complaint with the federal court. Who in the Liberal Party advised him to do this? Yes, and who was it who bankrolled his very expensive lawyers? And who contacted Peter Lewis to break the story and when? Which Liberal MPs got prior notice of the story breaking? And how come Abbott did a press conference on Ashby's allegation at 9 in the morning just as the story broke? It seems that neither the mainstream media or the opposition are interested in reading the damning judgment of Justice Rare. And most of the journalistic class are happy to let Abbott and Bruff continue to mislead the Australian people on this issue. Yes, even though Abbott and Bruff have been caught out on a number of inconsistencies with their respective stories on what they knew or didn't know. Starting with that disgrace to journalism, Peter Lewis, this is yet another regime change effort by the opposition and their mates in the mainstream media. They misused our court system and destroyed the political career of Peter Slipper and they are not even blinking an eyelid. Yeah, here is my present for these unelected political activists working in the field of journalism. I hope they step in it. They have been producing so much crap in their political commentary and reporting that they would not notice stepping into your shit. That's it for us. See you next time when we talk about the silence on Kathy Jackson and Abbott's selection slush fund. This cartoon was produced by Ron Ostrowski. Ron Ostrowski hates the political biased and fact impaired crap in the Australian mainstream media. He is not a member of any political party, but is very concerned how a largely political activist media, particularly the Murdoch outlets, undermine a democratic right to truth. Ron hates bullshit with a passion and is using social media for his own political commentary. So watch this space for more comment.
Until then, hasta la vista.